This video will instruct you on what GF Central Plastics believes are the best practices for preparation prior to fusing EF sidewall fittings. It reflects procedures that are born out of many years of experience with electrofusion and the latest industry findings. Best practices, as demonstrated in this video, should not be interpreted as the only correct practices. OQ training varies from company to company, and each company is required to validate its procedures. As a trainer or installer, you're obligated to follow your company's instructions. In this video, we'll discuss 10 steps of preparation before fusing an electrofusion tapping tee. 1. Fittings, tools, and equipment layout. 2. Pipe inspection. 3. Initial water cleaning. 4. Initial marking. 5. Alcohol cleaning. 6. Scribing. 7. Remarking. 8. Peeling. 9. Final marking. 10. Clamping in preparation for fusing. And since this demonstration involves preparation of an EF tapping tee, we'll also cover the preparation of the outlet and service tubing, assembly, and clamping. Begin by laying out your tools and equipment on a clean plywood board or heavy gauge plastic sheet. Do a quick inventory. Make sure everything you need is present, clean, and properly working. In each sidewall installation, proper clamp selection is absolutely critical. Use only those clamping devices that have been specifically designed for the fitting by that fitting's manufacturer. The electrofusion fitting should always remain in the plastic bag until the point of installation. Inspect the pipe for gouges that may be in excess of 10% of the pipe wall, embedded rocks or gravel, out of round or out of ovality tolerance, etc. Use clean water and a cloth to wash the pipe to a distance that exceeds no less than three widths of the sidewall fitting. If the recommended width is not available, wash the maximum width that is available. At a minimum, this width must exceed the width of the sidewall fitting. Use the fitting as a width indicator starting with the desired fitting location and then marking either side of that location. Here, we're using a black Sharpie. If working with both black and yellow PE, we recommend using a gray Sharpie as it's visible on both colors. Reclean the pipe with water and a clean cloth to the full width of the three fittings. These steps, along with the steps to follow, are particularly important when working with pipe that has been directionally bored into position. Now, use a clean, low-lint cloth and 90% or greater isopropyl alcohol or pre-soaked isopropyl towelette, as shown here, to clean the area between the center marks. Be careful not to contact the alcohol wipe with these marks, as doing so can draw the marker residue into the alcohol zone, creating a potential contaminant. Allow the alcohol to dry on the pipe. Next, the pipe is scribed on multiple sides with GFCP's Marksman 007. This tool removes roughly six thousandths of the pipe wall. The value of this procedure will be demonstrated during the peeling process that follows. With the marker, color in the scribed lines. Then, mark the remainder of the alcohol cleaned area with random markings around its circumference as shown. Allow the marker to dry. Connect the peeler to the pipe just beyond the outer edge of the left center mark and begin rotating the peeler clockwise. Continue peeling until you have passed the right center mark. Examine the pipe for remaining marker. If marker remains, repeat the peeling process. Note, in this case, the first pass of the peeler left some evidence of the marker, particularly in the scribe marks. If this happens, repeat the peeling process. On the second pass, the mark is no longer visible. The lack of remaining marker confirms that the desired peeling depth has been obtained. Again, using the sidewall fitting as a guide, mark the intended location of the fitting on the main. Note: The fitting remains in the plastic bag until the last possible minute to avoid contamination. More and more companies wipe the fitting base with the isopropyl alcohol immediately after removing it from the bag and just before placing it on the main. So long as the alcohol of proper composition and cloth is clean, we see this procedure as harmless in any case, and potentially beneficial if the fitting might have become contaminated. In this demo, we're using a metal camover saddle clamp. It's important to place the fitting on the main at the desired fusion location, then to slide the clamp into place. 
If this step is done in reverse, you'll be sliding the fitting over pipe that is potentially contaminated. Once the saddle clamp is centered on the fitting base, engage the cam over to secure the fitting to the main. If the clamping forces appear to favor one end of the fitting or another, reverse the cam, correctly recenter the clamp, and complete the clamping process. You're now ready to attach the processor and initiate the fusion process. Operation of the processor and the completion of the fusion process is contained in the processor video. We'll now proceed assuming the electrofusion processor has completed the fusion cycle on the sidewall fitting and once the cooling time is complete. This is a good time to prepare the service line and outlet fusion. In this case, we're connecting a half-inch CTS outlet to a half-inch CTS service line. Mark the clean outlet with the marker as shown. Insert the Surepeel CA peeler's mandrel into the outlet until it's snugly seated. Turn the peeler clockwise until the PE is fully visible in the peeler depth indicator, or until the peeler's mandrel threads bottom out. Depress the spring-loaded triggers on either side of the peeler to disengage the peeler blades and pull the peeler off the outlet. Inspect the outlet for remaining marker residue. If marker remains, repeat the process. In this case, one time was sufficient. Repeat the cleaning, marking, and peeling process on the service tubing. Mark the appropriate stab depth on the tapping T outlet and tubing. Center the EF coupling between the two stab depths and apply the GF mini clamp to hold the fitting in place during the fusion process. Connect the processor leads and you're ready to initiate the fusion process. Congratulations! You've completed the section on preparation to fuse electrofusion sidewall fitting, specifically the GF Central Plastics Electrofusion Self-Tapping T. For comprehensive instructions, please refer to the EF installation manual, or for more information on George Fisher Central Plastics EF Fusion System and the assembly of components, visit our website at centralplastics.com. Additionally, hands-on training can be scheduled via the website or by contacting your local GF representative.